guys, my name is Rygos Pop, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you the new mythical. That's right, the new mythical Pokemon, Sarud. So, if you're wondering on where would you find Sarud, uh, oh, if you're wondering on where would you find Sarud, you gotta sign up for the Pokemon Trainer newsletter to get a code in the mail. So, this is an event only Pokemon, and uh, let's check the summary. Okay, Sarud. Type, Dark and Grass. Original Trainer, Jungle. ID number is 201113. Okay. It's a sassy Pokemon, and it's Ribbon. Wishing Ribbon. Sarud, the Wish Granter. Huh, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, I almost forgot. I also got a special Mel Metal that can Gigantic Max. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna check the summary. And BAM! This one's from Pokemon Home, and uh, if you're wondering on where would you get this Mel Metal that can Gigantic Max, you gotta at least have to transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Home in order for this to work. And if you're wondering what Pokeball are both Sarud and this Mel Metal are in, this Pokeball is called the Cherish Ball. The Cherish Ball is, is kind of like a Pokeball, but you can't use it in the wild to catch a Pokemon. So you have to get them in, like, an event, well, that contains a special Pokemon. In this case, Melmetal and Sarud. So, yeah. And also, if you bring Sarud to a scientist, the one who gave you the Isle of Armor Pokedex, you'll get a special GIF. But anyways, come on, Sarud, let's go to the train station. <laughs> I kind of like his... Uh, I can't... No, uh, I mean... I kind of like its animation. I mean, I kind of like its animational walk. I mean, its walking animation looks cool. This is incredible. This is by far one of the best mythical Pokemon around. Well, aside from Melmetal, Keldeo, De Deoxys, and others. But still, this is the best. Okay, we're going to go into this train station. Go up to Scientist, and this is what she'll say. Oh, that Pokemon. <gasps> is that Sarud, the rogue monkey Pokemon? It's a Pokemon you can't find even in the entire Galar region, let alone on the Isle of Armor. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for showing me Sarud. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. You got original style partner cap. It's a cap of a boy who meets a lot of Pokemon during his journey. I thought it'd be nice. I thought it looked nice on you. What? Boy, are, are you are you referring to Ash Ketchum? Hang on. Oops. Let's get on our bike and ride back to the dojo to see what's this hat all about. So yeah, if you bring Sarud to a scientist, you'll get a special hat, in which I'm gonna show you and put on in a second, and uh, maybe update my uh, my trainer card because. The current hat I'm wearing is kind of old, and uh, I don't feel very comfortable with it. Let's change my outfit and see what's this new hat. <gasps> uh, it, this hat, this is from, this is from Ash Ketchum from an alternate universe. So yeah, there was actually two versions of Ash Ketchum. Okay, we have the Ash Ketchum we knew and love from the original Pokemon series, namely the ones. You know, the one that we all knew and love from the journey. You know, from the journeys throughout Kanto, the Orange Islands, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, the Declar Islands, Kalos, Alola, evenly going through the entire world, including Galar. But this Ash Ketchum is from an alternate universe, namely movies 20, 21, and 23, in which they are all considered to be not canon. I mean, although I, this hat looks pretty stylish, I kind of like it. Do I want to go with this look? Oh, heck yes! Would I like to update my card? Yes, please! Holy cow, I look incredible with this hat! I feel like a Pokemon master! <laughs> I look incredible with it on! Come on, Sarud! A new journey awaits us! Can't stop catching them all! Can't stop catching them all! <laughs> I think that was a reference or something. Hang on. I also want to do like a double here. 
Oh, there's a buffalant. So this Sarud is a special one. Let's talk to it. <laughs> oh, it's just giving me that crazy look. There's a Dreadnought. Whoop. So yeah, this Sarud was actually released. And maybe, I don't know, maybe a coincide of the 23rd movie. You know, considering that the 23rd movie will be the first time that a Pokemon movie gets released on a different day, rather than a traditional July release date. So yeah, in this case, this will be the first time that a Pokemon movie gets released on a different month. Namely, this month, December. And as surprisingly enough, as it is, the 23rd movie gets released on the 25th. Which just happens to be Christmas Day. I mean, could you imagine Sarud dressing up as Santa Claus? I mean, I mean, it'd be crazy. So, overall, I kind of like this hat. Oh, that reminds me. We have to read Sarud's data. Okay, let's go to my Isle of Armor Pokedex. And yeah, the number drastically changes from 100, I mean, 210 to 211. So, okay, Sarud's at the bottom next to Porygon C. So, let's go ahead and select Sarud. Okay, Sarud, the rogue monkey Pokemon. Within dense forests, this Pokemon lives in a pack with others of its kind. It's incredibly aggressive with the other Pokemon of the forest it fears. Okay, so it fears among others. Okay, well, okay, this Pokemon's very aggressive. Unlike Primeape, that is. Although, I'm curious. Hmm. Although, this is surprisingly enough, I got 821 Pokemon found within Galar. Well, what? Is that Nessa? Hey, Nessa, what's up? Well, hello there, champion. Have you came to see me? No, no, just winding up... Wind, wind, winding up... Winding you up for a bit. I've got some time off from my mauling and gym leader work. Oh, oh okay. Hi, Dreadnought. Munch, munch, munch! <laughs> oh, classic Dreadnaw. There's a Venipede. So avoid that. So yeah, this Sarut is actually a special Pokemon. And uh, if you don't have it, then don't worry about that. It may happen again next year. Who knows? I mean, there are some other mythicals that I don't have in Sword. Such as Genesect. Sorry, sorry, I, I just messed that one up. I mean, oh no, run to a sand shrew. Hang on, can we battle it? Whoa, Sarud's battle animation looks cool. Oh, power whip. Let's give that a try. Let's see what it does. Whoa, this is incredible. I love this Pokemon already. Whoa. That, that's just incredible. So, yeah. There are some other mythicals that I don't have in this game. Well, namely in Sword. I mean, such as Genesect, Marshadow, Magirna, Volcanion, Jirachi, Celebi, and, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, even Zara Aura. But, uh, I'm a little sad that we don't get any of the mythicals from Generation 4. I mean, I mean... I mean, if we have the Creation Trio and the Lake Trio, we could have gone Arceus. But if we got... But I mean, we do have Cresselia, but... I mean, where's Darkrai? How me? Sorry, sorry, I messed that one up again. I mean... I mean... I mean... I mean, how could it be a Lunar Duo without Darkrai? I mean, maybe until there can be another Pokemon game in which Darkrai can make a full return? I mean, I'll have to wait and see what next year has to throw at us. I mean... What? Hang on, hang on. Let's see what reaction does Sarud have when I give it curry. Okay, let's set up my camp in the desert. Even though Sarud's kind of native... Kind of... I mean, even though Sarud's kind of native towards, like, jungles and stuff. Okay, let's begin some cooking and make some good old curry. Mm. Okay, let's see what I'm in the mood for. Bread, boring, noodles, mm, not flavorful. <gasps> a fancy apple! Okay, let's pick a fancy apple. Let's see now. Let's pick 
three Oren Berries, one Hondu Berry. Uh, let's see now. Mm, one Kelpsy Berry. And uh, five Tomato Berries. There we go. Now, that looks scrumptious. Okay, let's cook up some curry. Throw in an apple and begin to cook. Cook, 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 cook. Keep firing up the flames. Do not let them go down. Come on, come on. I'm bun meshing here. Oh man, oh man. Don't want this curry to burn. Come on, come on. Even though that... I don't know why in the desert. Okay, gotta stir up some curry for Saru to like. Okay, even though... I could have gotten some fruit from the dojo, but eh, an apple works best. Come on, keep stirring. Good. Stir, stir, and stir. Come on. And wait for it. Wait for it. Throw my heart in there. Bam! Done! And let there be some flavor. Done! Alright, Sarood. Time to eat up. Okay. On the menu, spicy apple curry. Eat up. Whoa. Whoa, this is good. Even with the new hat. Mmm. Not bad. Okay, let's call it a day. And go back to the forest. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Sarod has this signature move called uh, Jungle Healing. So, it actually restores the health and removes the status. Namely, paralyze, burning, or poisoning. But uh, it can't work with freeze. I mean, can't work with frozen solid. I mean, doesn't work like that. Well, with another Pokemon, that is. I mean, it does work. I mean, so yeah. Basically, that's just pretty much it. Might as well go ahead and call it a day. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's just pretty much it with Sarood. I mean, we got everything. A reaction from the curry, and, and a new hat. So, I think this spot will have to do. And I think that'll be it. Uh-oh, there's a Cramorant. I, I think Cramorant will be happy. I think Cramorant will do it in the background. But uh, anyways, okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, also, also, uh, hang on, do I have something on my face? Dang it, messed up my outro. Start over, okay. Uh, starting over. But anyways, okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've all got Sarood. But uh, anyways, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this video. Uh, click that notification bell, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Stay poppin', stay safe, and take care out there. Say bye-bye, Sarood. <laughs> you always bring out a funny outro, Sarood. But uh, anyways, peace, guys. Stay poppin', stay safe, and take care out there. Peace. All right. Cool, cool, cool.